uh, AP build or just the pure dank build. Ooh. Either one is fine. Vane, locked in, ready to go for Jomong. So this is a, a, a massive call out. RNG, obviously, Uzi, very, very famous for that Vane pick. That is a WE. I would we have seen Vane pick specifically into Kaisa as a bit of a counter pick. Uh, you can chase up on her fairly well, and let's see if Beishan can find this kill. Oh, well, Zhao Hu is walking the wrong way right now. He needs to try and find himself out of here. And oh, gets caught up. And that is first blood going to Team WE. <laughs> Nicely done. Such, But this dragon is being taken right now by the side of RNG. They're kind of coasting themselves into this, you know, kind of pit. They should be able to take it pretty easily. As I say that, the smite does come down. The Galio is going to force absolutely everybody's smite out of here. And they're going to flash all the way out of the pit. But everyone from the side of WE follows up. Kaiser will pick up a kill on on the Alistair, but it's two for one. You get the dragon, but it costs you a couple of minutes available across the board. And there's going to be a full 5v5, actually 4v5, because the Bane is very, very far away from this. The Rift Herald will be taking. They will pop down the ultimates and try and get as much as they possibly can. They're trying to get the Shanks down, and the Galio will fall. They get themselves the Rift Herald. They get one kill. Hexec ultimate on the explosive cast to try and knock Beishong away. I really like that play. Wei will just about go down because of the ignite, but the Alistair trades his life for it. And now the Kaiser can go in onto the backside. Ming just being a nuisance with the quickness. And they get the vein as well. Gala is absolutely. Beishong could not get his full damage combo. And unfortunate for Jomong, still not having good positioning in these team fights, gets taken out right at the start. Oh, they want to take down that Kaiser. That is a full shutdown going on over to the Talia. So they make up for some plus blunders. They will not be able to catch <laughs> Big shutdown. I think going down, unfortunately, to uh, Alistar? Oh, no, no. Alistar already got his kill. So it was the Talia. Still worth it. Well, the Lilting Wolfai goes down. I think Breathe is pretty safe here if he plays it properly. As I say that, the flash in. The ticking is down, but there's a health pot going. The corrupt. They find a combo onto Ming. Beishan keeps going. Quickness has been used, as has the Flash. They will get the knock up at the grand entrance as well. And Crying picks himself up the prize. Missing has to use the Unbreakable Will, but he is being shredded down by the true damage. There's the shotgun forcing the Flash out of missing. And now RNG, they're the ones in the position to be able to try and go for this one. Now they're going to try and full on dive this. It looks like a little bit of an overextension, I feel. They're going to try and jump in. They will just delete Shanks. Hextech Ultimatum and the Explosive Cast both use almost simultaneously. But it is in the end RNG who pick up the kills. They drop the Rift Herald. They will be able to pick up so much gold from this as well with the turret place. And they'll be able to pick up their second dragon of the game. This is just beautiful team fighting from RNG. They're playing with the tools that they're most familiar with. The Ming on Rakan and also the, uh, the Gragas, which was a very common pick uh, in their heydays, both at the jungle position and at the top lane position, and even sometimes mid lane. So they're really in their comfort zone. And with the rotational advantages, they know exactly how far they can chase, how deep they can chase, and they find so many kills off Jomong of Jomong is being gifted a hell of a lot of CS in the bot side. As I say that, though, Missing is going to try and make something happen with his Hex Flash. They use the Explosive Cast as well. Hex Ultimatum comes down. They're going to try and commit everything for this one kill onto Kryon, who will eventually fall. But you're not gaining any kind of map pressure. That's one kill. That's 300 gold. Whereas nearly a thousand gold in turret plates have just gone onto the Kaiser. These comfort picks that they're very familiar with. Oh, they're going to go Beishan straight the combo. Goodbye. onto a Ming. Will use the quickness. He will not be able to get Drake. It's very close, but I think maybe they will Ooh. have Ming without ult. Xiaohu, he's Ooh. not very tanky. We talked about just there how he has only got a little bit of AP. He has to use it to try and just escape, but the Weaver as well will come out. Great explosive cast, but the Hextech ultimatum is just too damn quick. Xiaohu, though, doesn't really go down just yet. He takes a little bit of extra time. The TB came in onto Kryon. He's a great hook shot means he's out, and the Lilia is dead. WE spring to life. Pick up two kills. And they are so seconds. They need to be very careful, though, on the side of RNG. You do not want to tank this dragon for too long. They don't think they they have enough damage. They're going to try and go in on top of it. It will go over to RNG. They're now on soul point. But now the fight has ensued. Ming is taking down. He's on absolutely nothing. But he stays alive. Great grand entrance from the Agalio. Keeps everyone in his team nice and healthy. They pick themselves up a quick kill. But they have nothing else to go for it. RNG, they lose. They give up kills for this type of a play.
Yeah, your your kind of wing condition then becomes an Elder Drake at about 30 minutes, but we can actually see oh, Bayshon. They're going to try and go for it. Missing jumps in with the Hex Flash. They've got the, the Camille on the backside. Way is down. They're going to try and jump in with the Hex Ultimate, but a huge shutdown as the shotgun comes in. That's the Kaisa picking up two kills. Kaisa maybe going to go for more. Gets herself a triple kill. It's going to be Jomong just trying to get more. It's a quadra kill for Gala. Ooh. And RNG are right back in this. A bit of a failed engage right there. W probably expected less people than they found in that one. And the key for me was uh, just the separation. Um, uh, I believe Beishang and uh, Dala goes in and is able to- And they're straight back on it. Yeah, that was pretty good from W. They actually did manage to get the Baron to reset. So they're gonna have another go at this one. Uh, Beishang does Very have the splash, so potential still coming in. Not gonna happen though. Hexac Ultimate comes down as they're gonna try and pile them in. The Kai's is dead! The President is down! So is the Lilia, the Rakan, the Renekton! And everyone has just fallen! You get the Baron, but you get to keep none of it! It's going to be RNG losing everything as Team WE now barrel down this mid lane. Oh, another murder by Baron. RNG right there was that they were all locked into the pit with Baron and with the magic resistance complete to the team he actually only hit Jomong with his ultimate and he knocked Jomong forward so Jomong was okay I'll I'll, I'll just stand my ground and show was going to knock him into a gray screen but Jomong is left by himself oh that was so well played he keeps himself alive but just barely they have to use so so much on top of him they end up trading one for one Gala's kind of in between no man's land he doesn't really know where to go the TP comes in from Xiaohu they're gonna have the ultimate coming in now Hextech ultimate him use they're gonna jump straight in with the Galio as well the Kaiser oh, is not. dead the Camille is dead now as well Shanks and Beishang need to back away and keep himself alive so he has just not really got the damage to be pumping this one out as we can see they jump straight in on top of them and they're gonna have to force the top watch out as well there's Shanks going in with the grand entrance if they just find a Talia <laughs> and burst him down they're trying to do as much as they possibly can Jomong not really able to do anything RNG looking like they might be able to just take this fight Jomong is there. He's trying to fight him back. He's kiting. He will be able to pick up one, but not before he loses his life. It's only Shanks left who has to flash away. He's the lone man standing against a four-man strong RNG. They are knocking on the base. They're going to be able to take themselves an inhibitor. Probably go for the win here. It might be a little close, though. That swirl seed into the Killer Instinct combo was something that I... Their last chance saloon as they go for this. As I say that, though, Missing is here. They may just try there's and no go way, for... right? There's no, no way, right? No, there's no, there's no, there's no. He could have. There was. Uh, uh, it there... pretty much is going to come down to Beishan maybe sniping off a target before anything happens. And just like we were talking about, it comes in here, and it's just, it's just missing in Beishan with Shanks. That's all it was. It was straight up catch. <laughs> well, we can see now. RNG will pick up one of the turrets up on the top side, still pushing in. Mid lane tier one, or sorry, mid lane inhibitor is still down, but missing is behind enemy lines. Swirl C does land, but now they know where missing is. Do they look for the fight? Looks like missing really wants to go for it. There's the Weaver's Wall to try and separate absolutely everybody around. They do break the inhibitor, but they're trying to go for the connected straight off the bat. The Hexec Ultimate comes down. The Camille has to fall. The Renekton's still alive, though. And Zhaohu jumps straight in. There's four quick kills. As quick as you like. Beishong, it's all on you, but these health bars are too damn healthy. They've still got themselves 15 or so seconds of this Baron buff, and they are going to be able to use that to end this game. RNG will pick Pick up the win. Congratulations to RNG winning with the composition that they're very, very comfortable with, getting control of the Baron. And, uh, you know, in the final team fight, it's just near impossible to burst out a Renek. Uh, CNG, and they have to play against TWE. TWE need to play spoiler there in order to force the tiebreaker. So that game is so, so important. But honestly, right now, like RNG, like this game was a bit of a rock, you know, kind of a uh, set. Thank you.